Salim Habibi. I am in Morocco. After the 19 hour Thailand trip, it was nice and refreshing to get on, you know, a holiday where there'll be a lot less time than that. You know, I was getting all excited for a flight, here's me getting all giddy, whatnot. Um, it's a bit of silver, I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but yeah, here I am, I'm going to Morocco. After a couple of hours of flying, we finally get there, and I'd already encountered a problem. Got lost my passport on the plane, ran about 14 miles. Down there. Got there. In me pocket. It's great. I was wondering what was lying ahead with the taxi driver taking me to my hotel, taking in all the surroundings, the architecture. Sort of reminds me of like Bethlehem or something. It's it's different. It's, it's fucking different. Ah <laughs> god. Brilliant. Oh, am I sitting here? Yes, please. Oh, nice, okay. We can drink before showing your room. All right. Okay, awesome. Okay. Welcome drink. What's, what's, what is it? Mint tea. Oh, mint tea? Yes. Nice. <laughs> it's nice. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a tea drinker, but I feel a bit bad needing it. See where the magic happens, Jimmy. Hey. Yeah. I like it. You like it? It's great. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Um, is this what they all look like? Just every room in, like, are these the beds, the traditional beds? And you prefer to bed? No, no, no. Ah. No, I don't want to share with him. <laughs> what does she think I'm going to be doing in this room? I don't. I feel like a uh, Moroccan prince. They knew I was coming. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. They got the memo. After settling into my beautiful room, I received some disappointing news. Hugh Hefner just called, he wants his fucking bed back. Joke. Despite my disappointment in Hugh Hefner taking my room, I still wanted to take the opportunity to explore my new surroundings. But first, I needed a robe. Do you have, um, men, male, man robe? Man, like me, with a, with a penis. Yeah. That's a bit plain, I want some colour, I want some detail, I want some nice... Oh. Yeah, you're not... Getting what I'm saying? That looks like a shirt. I want like a robe, like a w nice fucking robe. Do you know what I mean? Will I pull the ladies? It's called the same thing. Will I get Gyal? Will I get Gyal with Big Batty Bunda? Not parli in English. Oh, sorry. 250. Oh, fucking hell. Dear, I'm not on yeah, I'm not. Yeah, it's a bit steep. I'll think. I'll come back. I'll think. Yeah? He's pissed. He's pissed. He's just lost a customer. After getting blacklisted by Morocco's number one merchant, I then came across an experience which would scar me for life. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? I'm from the UK. Yeah, welcome. We're filming a documentary. Oh. Oh. Uh, you don't know about that. Well, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for any of this. I didn't ask for any of this. I haven't asked for any of this. This is a right! That's a fucking cobra! Ah. Take that shit off me, boy. <laughs> oh my god! Get it off me, Rob! You're a mental. You're a mental case. Stop kissing the snake. Yeah! You did that. That's right, innit? No more snakes. No, we're, we're done. We're done. Good luck, inshallah. Thank you. Good luck for you. Good happy luck. Good kingdom. Good sex. Dreadful. He put a cobra in my fucking face. And then he tried to obviously get money from me. Oh, welcome to Morocco. And then some lady just come over to me, tried to get, stab me with her henna. I don't want your henna. I want to go home. After my traumatizing snake experience, which was completely without my consent, I was ready to take on a new day. The driver took us through what seemed like endless amounts of desert, wasteland, stalls, and whatever they have in Morocco, I don't really know. But after a while, we finally arrived. So we're gonna see some Berber. Just a cow chilling in here. Imagine that, haven't you? When you're having your tea. 
Fresh milk, at least. Straight from the tits. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Why? I've been given more tea. I don't even like, I said this at the beginning of the I don't like it. Seems to be the drink of choice here, so. I think it's rude to reject it. So, after having too much tea and getting a bit bored of it, quite frankly, I was ready to move on. In the meantime, I became Bob the Builder for the day. Not the safest of bridges. We're trying to find this waterfall after endless climbing, during our weather, making friends with the local pets. Any opportunity to sell. Literally, first thing I got here, like one second in, some guy with a fucking snake. Little kids, probably about five years old, coming up to me with these shitty bracelets. They don't look at me now. They're not shitty, they're just already wearing one. Silver. They're fucking freezing. It's freezing. I'm gonna knock these kids out of it. If they splash me, they're dead. They're going under, they're getting dunked, they're getting drowned, they're getting fucked. Not fucked, but... Despite becoming a Moroccan Jimmy Savile, I still try to enjoy cold, refreshing environment of the waterfall. It's like tingling. It's that cold, I'd say that's literally like one degree. Even though it's weeks, it's like 30 degrees. That's three. After swimming through wonderful waterfalls, drinking tea with the locals, it was time to head back. But I encountered a few obstacles. This has to make it. Look, I give you this. Wonder in this present for you. No, a oh, present. present. Yeah, I give for free. You. Yeah, one, two, two hundred. I give you this. No, 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 no. I only want it for a hundred. I've told you this, mate. I'll give you a hundred. Okay. Oh, he's still blabbering up. You've got to tell this guy. No, no, yeah. I'm all right, mate. I give you no, mate. No. This present for you. I give you this present. Give well, me I'm on a present. I've already bought a rock. I bought a rock. I'm, I'm happy with this rock. That guy. Oh, he looked for me. Still there. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, so I just got done in the um, tea making place. They don't tell you about paying and that. Obviously, I want to leave a little something. I said bye. They said, oh, you got to pay something. Gave them 200. I thought, is that enough? I don't know. That's, fit about, that's about 15 quid. I come out to the taxi driver. I say, how much should you? Probably tip. Expect him to say, like, oh, yeah, two, three hundred. Fifty, he says. So, after my second encounter with Moroccan merchants, I thought it'd be time to relax and check out the nightlife of Marrakesh. See what was going on. See, you know, what the whole vibe was. We're outside this nice club and um, thought I'd try some shisha on the way. I don't really have, I don't have shisha often. I'm not a shisha smoker. It don't come naturally to me, really, holding this thing. Putting pipes in my mouth and sucking doesn't come too naturally to me. How long till we start sucking these guts out? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. That's dizzy as fuck, boy. What is that fucking noise? Five AM. Really? After my thoroughly rude awakening, I thought I'd cheer myself up by grabbing a nice nutritious breakfast and put on a new outfit. Good morning. Which I managed to get for a reasonable price. 50 quid? It's an expensive fucking dress, mate. Despite getting scammed by an oven merchant, I was still determined to enjoy my last day in Morocco. Time to head to our new destination, and I even picked up the local language along the way. I felt like I was a true Moroccan. Salam, Habibi. Okay, we're in. 
Nice. Guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please let me know and give it a little like so I know whether to do more travel vlogs. This wouldn't be possible, of course, without my sponsor today, not just travel, my good friend Fraser over there. He's a small business, but he books a lot of holidays. He did my accommodation, he did my transfers, he did my flights. They also work with Jet2, EasyJet, TUI, all of them. And there's a lot of holidays that you can't get online elsewhere when you book through him as well. So he's a great guy. Link is in description. He's ABTA and Atoll protected too, whatever that means. On with the video. So I've been here for over 48 hours now. And it's not giving me Africa vibes as such. It's giving me more Iraqi vibes, more Iran. You know, we're not in actual real Africa. What should be by real Africa? When you think of Africa, you don't think of camels and tagine. I think of lions. I don't know. Calm down, buddy. Oh, All right, not too hard. Fuck oh. me! Okay, we're in. I kind of feel sorry for him. Just doing this every day, just walking. With some fat lard asses on its back. He, sh he shit himself. That's their life. Till they pop their clogs and inevitably die. But anyway, let's go on some quads. Given a traditional Moroccan dish, as you can see. I leave that one there. Do we even know what's on the menu? Tagine, I imagine. Don't even know what it is. I don't even think they know what it is. I think they just put any old shit in a pot. Sweet pumpkin, apparently. Oh god. Oh god. But it's good. Oh. Lovely milk. Crackheads was getting me quite peckish. Hello, cameraman. Cameraman. Oh. Unless you've got some lamb brain, I'm looking for I lamb. lamb. I have brain. The brain? Yeah, the brain. Only the brain. No eat fish, no eat barbecue. Oh, you want to try brain? Only brain. Only brain. Okay. That's the brain. This is a delicacy in Morocco. Lamb brain. Here we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Because this is the. Oh Jesus. It's like just bush. No, don't recommend that. Do you want to try some? I'm like all of a sudden really full. But <laughs> Here we there you go. go. Ready? Yeah. Very good. Oh, fuck's sake, you gotta let me do it. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's not great, is it? <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect timing to end the video here.